Today we're going to cover how to access the Excel uploads and download spreadsheets that you can use to update your database at a mass level. In this case, we're going to be doing this through the administration portal. First thing you'll notice is we're starting on the bid grid view from the administration portal. First thing you can do is click the database drop down and scroll down to the bottom. You'll notice that we have upload item templates and upload miscellaneous items. Now, if you're going to choose the upload item templates, it's important to know that you need to know the item code for the specific item you're going to be working with. So if you're working with studs as an interior contractor, that item code is stud. If you're working with rolls as a roofing contractor for the rolls of membrane, that item code is roll. If you need to find that item code inside of the edge when you're working in a project, ultimately if you go to your condition level, you'll be able to see the item code that's assigned. For example, if we go into this roofing drawing here, you'll notice that at the item level, when we're looking at the mechanically attached condition, you'll see all of the item codes displayed. So if you wanted to update your membrane, you'll see the item code as roll. If we go back and we take a look at any one of these other pages here, you would be able to see that for the wall items, if we're looking at this information, you're going to have studs and you're going to have board. You're going to have all of that information available to you. In this case, you can see those right here. Now, the reason that these ones aren't lighting up is because this page is turned off. So you can ignore that for now. But this is where you can find the item codes to know which Excel spreadsheet to download. Now, in this case, I'm going to jump back over to my administration portal here. So if we wanted to choose the upload item templates, simply left click type in the code and hit find. Once you choose find, we do recommend downloading the template file with data. However, if you don't want the data that's already in your database and you would like to start from scratch, you can choose the download template file. This will give you the file format that you need to be able to upload this back into the edge. Now that's the item templates. What about the miscellaneous items? Well, with miscellaneous items, when you choose the upload option, you're going to come over here and you're going to have the download template file with data or simply the download template file. Now, we do recommend that you choose the download template file with data, so that way you're getting all of the current information in your database. In this case, once you left click on it, give your computer just a couple moments to download that Excel spreadsheet. And depending on the web browser you're using is going to depend on where that's going to be displayed. In Google Chrome, it's the bottom left corner. Once it's finished downloading, you can single left click on it to open it up. Once it opens up in view, you'll notice that this is going to be all of the material and labor, all of those miscellaneous items that you have created. You could have subcontractors out here. You could have equipment items as well. But ultimately, it's just putting that into a giant Excel spreadsheet, so now you can start to go make your modifications. You'll notice across the top that you have your description, the industry, the category, the estimated unit, the cost type, the user code, the order formula, round order quantity, order unit, price formula, and your price unit as well. Now you can scroll this over and you will start to see more information part number, unit price, waste percent, production rate, account codes. Now you're getting into those user defined fields, the users one, two, three, and four. But ultimately, this is what that spreadsheet's gonna give you. Go through this list, update any information, delete any items that you don't wanna have on here, update pricing, update the coverage rates. Realistically, you're making full changes to all of your miscellaneous items that are in your database. Now, that's only through the spreadsheet. So how do you take all of those changes and push it back into your database for what you have currently in version 12? Well, inside of the administration portal, when you choose that upload, instead of clicking on the download template file or download template file with data, you're actually going to choose header row, and then you're going to choose browse file. This is going to allow you to browse your computer and pull in that spreadsheet that you just updated all of that information on. Now this delete existing miscellaneous item records 
this is basically saying that when I check this checkbox, if the product is not on the spreadsheet that I'm pushing to the database, I want you to delete it. So make sure that you only select this option if you're truly wanting to delete all of the items that are not on the spreadsheet. Most of the time, you're not going to want to delete this. You're just going to want to update the items that are already out there. Again, to upload that file, simply choose header row, click browse file, and navigate to that Excel file on where you've saved it on your computer. Once you do that, all of this information will get filled out for you. So bear with me, let me go ahead and do this. I know I haven't made changes. Once that information is ready to go, now you can click upload. And once you click upload, you'll be able to send all of that information to your database. The very next job you create after you've uploaded this, if you use any of those products, you'll see the updated information available. Now, if you have any additional questions or you run into any issues as you're working with the item template upload or the miscellaneous items upload, please feel free to give us a call on the tech support line. We'd be happy to assist you in any way we can. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.